Hello subscribers, this is yours truly jblue68 coming to you with another cool video and this being the first day of Black History Month, today being February the 1st and just like I've done in the past, I will be doing videos highlighting popular black characters as they've appeared in the uh, world of pop culture that's being specifically comic books, sci-fi and fantasy films and superhero movies as well. Um, before we get into this video, I want to say thank you to my subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, for liking, sharing, and commenting. Please continue to do so. And tap the notification bell so you can get more videos like this as I post them immediately. Well, I'm very proud to present this first video uh, for Black History Month, which features the infamous, the late, the great Eartha Kitt, a woman who I absolutely loved. I watched growing up as a kid, who had been, who'd been acting and entertaining and singing uh, for decades, uh, way before I was born. And I remember seeing her in old movies like Porgy and Bess with Sammy Davis Jr., um, movies with Sidney Poitier, who just recently passed. Um, and Eartha Kitt died, I think, about, it's been about 20, close to about 20 years. Um, the last movie I remember seeing her in was with Eddie Murphy in the film Boomerang, uh, which also starred Halle Berry, um, who also played as Catwoman. And the version she played, I didn't like. I always say her superhero movies that she's been in, as I'm talking about Halle Berry now, have just been the pits. Anyway, so back to Eartha Kid. <laughs> Eartha Kid. Um, yeah, she actually was the original Catwoman. A lot of people think it was Julie Tamer. I think I'm pronouncing her name, her name, her name correctly, uh, who was actually you know Caucasian, of course. But the original Catwoman was actually... Eartha Kitt, and the original Joker, of course, was Cesar Romero, who was a Latino male. A lot of people didn't know that. Um, but I'm going to just show you this beautiful sculpt. This is from Hallmark, by the way. Here's a box here. Okay. Catwoman. Sculpted by, and it's from the Batman Classic TV series. As you can see, it says there, uh, Keepsake Ornaments. This came out actually last year. But I'm just now doing a video on it. I was going to wait. I wanted to wait until this month to actually do a video on it. And it's sculpted by Chris Garan. There's a little bio on him on the back. But let's do an up-close shot of this beautiful, gorgeous sculpt. Now, it's not an exact likeness of her. But that is really very cool. I love the sheen and the shine that they have on her body. Look at the boots. And her feminine, femi fatale pose, claws out. That is really very nice. Let's turn it around. You see I have her on this gold uh, stand. Okay, you see that? The hair and everything. And they're very nice shape. Uh, again, he did, he did a spectacular job uh, on this. I love that shine in her suit too. Her cat suit. But yeah, it's Eartha Kitt. The original Catwoman. Uh, from the classic TV series. Which of course started, starred Adam West. Uh, as Batman. And uh, it's hard to find those episodes now. Uh, I think you probably could maybe find some of them on YouTube. Online. Oh man, that's out of focus. And she, She's bobbing back and forth. Let's see. Let's get it back and forth. There we go. Oh, oh. Uh, there we go. So very, very nice here. And in the background, as you can see, I have a classic photo of uh, the lovely Eartha Kitt and one of her sexy poses. She was a sexy woman. I just loved how she would do the sound of Catwoman on the TV show with the purr. The, let's see if I can do it. The, the purr, purr, purr. Brr, something like that. I can't do it, man. But yeah, it's Eartha Kit right there. Very, very nice. And I'm so glad to have this photo uh, of her. Yeah, she was a sexy woman, man. And, you know, uh, again, she she did a lot. She, she's an actress, singer, you know, dancer. She did it all. Uh, Eartha Kitt, unfortunately, her career in this was kind of cut short in America for a while because she got involved 
in some kind of political uh, mess, and I don't, I, I don't really want to get into that right now, um, in the detail of that. But she ended up being banned from the um, United States of America for a little while due to that political mess that she was involved in, and it took a while for her to get herself reinstated back in t- as a citizen of the United States of America. I tell you, boy. Uh, so anyway, that's just a little history on her. Um, and uh, some of her, like I said, some of her movie credits I've, I've already mentioned. So yeah, <clears throat> my first video for Black History Month featuring one of my favorite uh, actresses, again, the late Eartha Kitt. Uh, very much missed in the world of entertainment. Uh, very much a star still and definitely remains permanent in my memory. Uh, from a child to an adult. So let's give her another close-up shot here. All right, so I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Again, please like, share, subscribe, tap the notification bell so you can get more videos like this as I post them immediately. Hopefully I can keep her, get her still here as I end the video, okay? Oh, and by the way, um, the new Batman movie is coming out. will feature another black actress. Uh, who will be playing as Catwoman, and that being Zoe Kravitz, the daughter of Lenny Kravitz and uh, Lisa Bonet. Uh, Lisa Bonet, who was famous from the Cosby Show, as well as from different a different world back in the uh, 80s and, the, and in the 90s. And of course, uh, Lenny Kravitz, uh, who's a famous rock star and artist, guitar player. And uh, she's, of course, her only child. If you have not seen the... Um, trailer for the new Batman movie, I very much encourage you to watch it. And I think that Zoe Kravitz is going to actually own this role uh, as Catwoman. I hope she does and do it some justice. I can't keep her still. <laughs> All right, there we go. Sweet. That's a nice pose. All right, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. Peace, love, and hair grease. <laughs>